Thoughts on getting rid of Sala? Evan J. Fox, Sala is definitely one I want to cover because a lot of people are thinking of getting rid of him. Um, right now, as far as his returns go for points, the fact that Mane is getting as many points is a big worry because Mane is a lot cheaper, although he is currently still rising in price. So you don't want to put £13 million of your budget in a player where there's a there's a, another alternative in the same side. So Mane is that alternative and has played more minutes, which is a worry. Uh, Salah was the first to be taken off in game week four. However, if we actually compare them back to back, and I think that's the fairest way to do it, is you have to compare Salah to his like-for-like -like replacement. So I think you've got Mane and you've got Hazard. Those are the two midfielders, I think, right now that you should be comparing Salah to. And if Mane and Hazard are going to outscore Salah, potentially that is the move to make. So if we first compare Salah to Mane, Mane actually does win out on stats. Uh, key stats, they're joint 5 for 5, but overall stats summary, Mane wins out. However, heat map wise, Salah is more advanced further forward. Goals, Mane's got 4 to uh, Salah's 2. Assists, no assists for Mane, uh, 2 assists for Salah. So as far as goal involvement goes, they're both at FPL goal involvement of 50% when they're on the pitch. But penalty area touches, Mohamed Salah wins out 34 to 20. Goal attempts, he wins out 19 to 10. Goal attempts inside the box, 12 to 10 in Salah's favour. Shots on target, 7 to 6 in Salah's favour. Big chances in total, 5 to 2 in Salah's favour. And then minutes per attempt also in the favour of Salah, 17.8 to 34.2 which of course means shot accuracy is a lot better for Mane 60 to 36.8 and goal conversion is 40 to 10.5 now as far as chance creation again Salah wins out 13 chances created to six uh, two big chances to one and one assist to or proper assist and not FPL assist to zero against Mane so the underlying stats are actually in Salah's favour but what's happening is either Salah's not performing as well as last year and making the most of these chances, or Mane's outperforming himself from last year and doing more with his chances. Now, do I think it's time to completely give up on Mohamed Salah? No. I think those underlying stats, it could just be a little period where he isn't making the most of his chances, uh, which could change soon, and he could come in with an explosive game week. But it is a worry. And Mane is definitely showing his worth uh, at the start of this season. If the underlying stats continued this way and Mohamed Salah didn't outperform Mane, I would then seriously worry that uh, the quality from Mohamed Salah has disappeared, which would surprise me because he looked so good for so long last season that that's not what I expect to happen. So I'm just seeing it as a patch of bad form and then he'll come over it, he'll come out of this and start scoring again because uh, the underlying stats are just too good surely they're too good for Mohamed Salah not to start scoring big uh, we will now compare as well because I forgot to do it uh, Salah to Hazard now Hazard has had less minutes uh, but overall stats wise it says Hazard comes out on top now heat map again um, Salah is further forward Starts, of course, Salah's had more, so it means more minutes. Uh, goals, they're both on two apiece. Assists, they're on two apiece. As far as goal involvement, Hazard is on 67% goal involvement compared to Salah's 50. Penalty area touches is 25 to 34, so that's in Salah's favour as Ricardo Buckton joins the flock. Uh, we've got minutes per attempt, though, is in Salah's favour. 17.8 uh, to 22.3. 19 goal attempts to 10 in Salah's favour. 12 from inside the box. Only 4 attempts from inside the box for Hazard. Uh, shots on target, 7 to 3 Salah's favour. Big chances total, 5 to 1 in Salah's favour. Uh, and then chances created, 13 to 10 in Salah's favour. Now, of course, Hazard is very close there with less game time. And big chances is actually equal uh, between the two at two apiece. So for me, I think goal threat-wise... Salah still just wins out despite the lack of minutes because 19 of Salah's attempts have come from inside. Sorry, 19 of Salah's attempts 
12 of them have come from inside the box. 10 of Hazard's attempts, four of them have come from inside the box. So for me, Salah's attempts are gonna be of a better quality. Uh, suppose it depends on the defenders around. So unless we compared every single attempt side by side, that's a bit of a leap of judgment. But I feel like Salah's underlying stats means he will perform. And of course, goals are going to be more important than assists. But Hazard is the important player in the attack for Chelsea. Whereas Salah, potentially they can play around Salah at Liverpool because Mane and Firmino are there to get the points or the goals as well. So it is difficult, but I think Salah is still worth at least giving a bit more time. But then again, if you remember last year, for those of you who were here last year, I was giving Kane more time, wasn't I? And that went well, didn't it?